I will demonstrate how you can configure the forms that are being used on your website. And for this demonstration, I'm using the computer repair WordPress theme, but the way it works, the, the steps I will show you in this demonstration will be the same for all the themes that we provide. So if you're using a different one, a different theme, then simply follow the same steps here. At the moment you activate the theme for the very first time, you will get some initial content. For example, uh, for the computer repair, there's a contact page which is already configured. And the contact page will have a form that says ask for a callback. And you might have noticed that if you have entered, if you did some, some trials uh, for your particular site, it, it, you might not have received the email, uh, which probably means that the form itself is not yet uh, correctly configured. So how you can configure the form is as follows. Uh, first, you have to activate the editor. And um, if you hover with your mouse over the form, you will see that an icon pops up here at the very top right. So simply click on this icon here to open up a pop-up, a pop-up which shows all the elements that you can configure for this form. And be sure that the email address to notify, so that's the recipient who will be informed when a form is being submitted this one should be filled with your email address and not with a dummy one which was entered or configured by the theme developer and the same applies for the sender email enter something like your own email address here um, if you want to uh, is, some people ask us a question like what should I put in a sender email and what's the difference between the sender email and the email address to notify well the email address to notify is the person that will receive the email and of course each email should have a sender right you cannot just send out an email without knowing who the sender was so the, the sender email address you can use either the same name uh, the same email address as the email address to notify or put in maybe your info email address if your company has one it's not really that much relevant as long as it's a email address that has the right email format so uh, put in here something most likely your own email address that's that that will be my my best advice for you uh, the sender name that's uh, that will be the the name of the person from which it will look like that sent out the the notification of the submitted form so uh, website name will be a, a perfect valid name and if if you would use it like this and you would open up the email address if you would be notified here you can see that the website name will be uh, the name that shows up here as the sender's name all right um, so that's how you can configure the the form widget and if you uh, if you configure it in the right way then from that moment on if you would submit the form and like so uh, like so um, hit send then the email the email will uh, the, the email should be popping up in your email address and one of the other things uh, which the system also does is, is each form which is being submitted is also stored in this list let me show you um, if you go to this icon here which is the forms icon then you can see a list of all the forms that are being used on your system but they will only show up if at least the form was being submitted at least one time um, and there's a history of, of one item or more and in this case there we just submitted a name ABC with a telephone number this was the URL from where the form was being submitted this was the timestamp and this is the IP address of the person who submitted the form um, so uh, 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 next to the email notifications you also receive uh, the system will also persist the submitted form so that's cool if, uh, if I would go to my email box quite likely 
Um, let me see if this was the latest one. Yeah, I just submitted this form, so it just received one minute ago. So this this works okay. I hope this was helpful, and uh, I hope by by watching this video, you will have learned how to configure the forms widget such that the emails. Um, such that each submitted form will be delivered in, in your email box. If you have any questions, please do let us know. Thanks for watching.